Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. What you see in front of you right here is a proprietary thing that I've been building. Uh, this was done about a year ago, this prototype, but now I'm able to show it to you. Uh, what you see here is a shop back over here on the side. I've modified a large piece of 4 inch PVC pipe into a vacuum sluice box. So what you see here is an all dry dredge system. Uh, I've got a bucket of heavy material I just dug out of the wash. I'm going to dump out here in a second. I'm going to fire up the generator, turn on the vacuum. I'm going to let you see this thing in action. And then I'm going to open it up and show you how to build one yourself as cheap as possible out of some PVC, the shop vac you may already have, uh, and the hose that comes with your shop vac. So let me go ahead and take a moment, set this all up, fire up the generator. It's going to be a little noisy in the next shot. But I'm going to dump out that bucket. I'm going to start showing you the vacuum in action, the dredge in action. Then we're going to shut off the vacuum and everything, and I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like inside with the gravels and the materials caught inside the riffles inside of the desert dredge. Give me one moment. Now I tell you. Now that I've shown you how it works, how it can vacuum up the material just like a dredge when it's dry, let me show you how to take it apart, how to pull the sluice box out from a distance here, uh, and then I'll bring you up close and show you what it looks like up close. First thing you're going to want to do is remove your dredge hose. So you just twist the whole system here, pulls the whole end cap out of the 4 inch PVC, that's a threaded PVC 4 inch end cap, hooked right to your basically your dredge hose. First part of the sluice box you pull out is your nugget check. And that's going to be this piece right here. I need a handle on that one. Alright, so that's your nugget check. It's got two purposes. It's got some ripples in it so it can catch any large gold. It's also got a perforated sheet. Maybe you can see that. It's also got on the underside here, I cut out the PVC and allowed for some channels underneath that. That's a fine gold catch and nugget trap underneath there. Now that I've shown you the smaller gold trap inside of there and the nugget check, let me show you the larger sluice box that's inside of this. All you're going to do is reach inside and pull it out. That right there is your whole inner sluice box. Now you'll notice there's some holes at the top of this. Uh, I wanted some ridges and some vacuum areas that are going to create pockets inside of there. Uh, this pocket here is designed to create a sideways blast, that's why it's off center kind of break up the material before putting it into the vacuum so there's no plug up here at the end. Uh, inside of this is pretty standard uh, riffling for a sluice box. Now the system I'm selling has got actually specially designed vacuum riffles in there. Uh, standard riffles do work though. When I first built this system that's how I did it and it trapped gold pretty well. I saw some issues with it so I went and redesigned the riffles just a little bit for uh, use under vacuum instead of water both flow very very similar and do create eddies behind the ripples so not a lot of difference but that's your inner sluice box let me go ahead and stick the nugget trap back in there so you can see how and why that works
Okay, so it doesn't go all the way in. It sticks out just a little further than the rest of it. What that allows it to do is, when this is all the way inside the system here, it sticks out right about to the end of the rim. That allows the end cap to go up and over that, so the feed is actually inside and over the channel here, not back against the edge. Allows the material right on top of the sluice, it feeds over it. Now with that inner sluice in there, what I've done here is created, I heard all the dirt we just put in rattle out, uh, I've created a dead zone underneath here. Creates almost like a two uh, stage sluice inside of this pipe, allowing the fines and uh, the heavy gold and the finer stuff to drop underneath the outer sluice box here and get trapped in between the two of them. Creating a nice double system and at the end it doesn't go all the way to the end, it allows that material to rise back out since I have some spacers off the bottom, rise back out, get out of the system so it doesn't plug up. So it basically created a two stage vacuum sluice inside of this. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera now and bring you up closer and show you what this looks like up close. All right, I wanted to start at this side of the thing and we'll work our way the other way. All this is is a two inch PVC threaded coupler here, threaded directly inside of the shop vac's opening. It fit perfectly in there, it threads nice and tight and creates a good seal. You can see we go up in size from the two inch all the way into the four inch here and that allows us a pretty good area to put the sluice box in. Now these I just put on there so that you have some kind of legs holding up the sluice and you can also adjust the height so it's also slightly sloped. You don't want it dead flat, you want it like any other sluice system, you want it sloped. And I'll show you here, it's just a threaded end glued onto the four inch PVC. That gives us our cap so we can put it over the end here. Our sluice box is very simple. This was pretty crude, this was my first prototype from about a year ago. Something I wanted to see if it worked, we took it out and used it quite a few times and we caught a lot of gold with it. So all you can see here, it's just a piece of PVC I had to cut the whole way to make it slightly smaller. They're both four inch pieces of PVC. Down here underneath you'll see there's a piece of carpet, some uh, expanded metal mesh inside of there, allowing for a gold trap at the very end. And these are all your riffles up through this whole system. And once again you can see that perforated hole. And that allows most of that fine material, any nuggets smaller than these holes, are going to drop through, get caught in these double catches here. These two vacuum areas right underneath it and back out at the end. So it gives you a two-stage sluice system. Pretty easy to build, pretty self-explanatory. See if I can do this one-handed and pull that inner sluice out of there. All right, so you can see it's just another piece of PVC all cut with the screen mounted and some riffles in there. Now, like I said, there's some differences that you want to create in your riffles and what you don't see here which will actually create the uh, airflow to create a really nice vacuum pocket right behind each one of these riffles. This still works very well with the nugget catch underneath. This nugget catch seems to do very well inside this system, which we kept in the production models. Let me go on here to the hose. All right, so you can see here, it's just the threaded end coupling here. You can see I drilled. Let me see if I can pull that off of there for you. All right. You can see what I did here. I just centered my hole saw bit and left some tangs sticking out there. Those tangs actually fit right up inside the vacuum piece and allow you to thread the whole thing as one piece. Work pretty well together. They're all about the right size. So that's all it is. Pretty simple to do. It was uh, something I came up with just to try to dredge in dry environments. And you can see that this thread's on. Let me see if I can one-handed throw the uh, sluice box in there. And there you go, you just slide that all the way in and you've got your inner sluice. You've got this one here, you slide all the way in and bam, right to the lip. It's good to go. You would thread your couple on right here. There you go. There's your sealed chamber sluice box right there. And nice and easy here, you just take the dredge hose and go ahead and throw it on there right through the, let me take that there, take the dredge hose, slide it right up in, it locks into place, and there, there's the desert dredge. So I'm going to be selling, it's the sluice box, and you're going to have to come up with uh, your own shop vac. So I will have one model with a shop vac, but I just, the prices are a little high to try to get a hold of anything worthwhile. Uh, the only model I'm going to be selling with the vacuum is going to be a gas-powered vacuum model. 
Well, until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Tesslonian, Tesslonian Man Show.